Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about the M1 chip in the future of iOS music. If you follow this channel at all, you know I use the iPad a lot in my setup. And Apple just recently released the new high-end M1 chip for the iPad. This is something a lot of iOS musicians have been waiting for because this now has the possibility to bring pro apps into the iOS ecosystem. Having a chip that has the power of a desktop will obviously give much more powerful results than something that was mobile. And the iPad got a lot of flack from the beginning for claiming to be a computer replacement while still being very mobile in nature. So in a way, the M1 chip is really the iPad starting to live up to that expectation. But what will it bring to iOS music? How long will it take for it to evolve? That's something I wanted to talk to you about today. And obviously it's just our opinions. We don't really know until it happens. But I myself, as much as I think the M1 is a massive leap forward for the iPad in the future, I don't think it's gonna have any direct effect in the immediate time frame, And it's gonna take some time for some apps to come out that really justify the average iOS musician upgrading to this newer iPad. Now that's not stating that anyone who's done it already has wasted their money. They, they obviously have a very powerful iPad that can push everything out today much stronger and they have future-proofed themselves for anything that's coming out for the M1 in the future. Just saying I don't think it's going to be the immediate future when this happens. We're going to see a couple years, I think, of slow trickling of maybe pro audio development. And then again, the reality is not everybody is going to need that pro audio stuff. That's going to come down to the individual user. There'll be some people 100% happy in Gadget in the current form. I myself don't think the M1 chip is going to take over all iPads right away. I do feel it's going to be the flagship model for quite a while. And, and I do feel obviously at some point mobile chips will completely phase out of iPads. But I do feel that's a couple years down the road. Now when it comes down to what they could bring because of the M1 power, I mean the list is endless now that you have the M1 on the iPad with some serious RAM backing it up. I think it'd be insane if one day, you know, iPads could support the rolling cloud and all these really beefy things like Omnisphere. That would just be absolutely insane if you could bring things of that power into the mobile aspect of the iPad. The M1 chip definitely lays a path for a bright future for iPad music, definitely becoming more of what people wanted with a computer replacement. What is the one thing you're really excited about the M1 in the iOS world and what it, the potential it has to bring to your music? What is that one app you really want, that professional big boy that just can't really work on the modern day iPad before the M1? I would love to know your opinion. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.